Well, this weekend on 60 Minutes, Oprah Winfrey takes us along as she gets a first look inside the memorial to lynching victims. The National Memorial for Peace and Justice is located in Montgomery, and it's expected to draw thousands of visitors when it opens to the public later this month. I had the opportunity to talk exclusively with Oprah after her visit to the memorial about the experience. What uh, does having this uh, memorial, a memorial of this nature indicate about how far we've come as a country? Well, I think that what it says is that we are ready to acknowledge history in a way that benefits who we are and where we've come from, and that we're, we're willing to say that there were some injustices that have helped to create the culture, environment, society that we do have, and now we're ready to have truth and reconciliation about that. As someone who grew up in the South, what, does this have any special meaning for you? Oh, it has, well, it has a huge meaning for me because one of the things you'll be able to do when you come to this museum is you'll be able to just hit a map and you can go to any place in the United States. For me, that would be Mississippi, Atala County, and you can uh, see how many lynchings took place in your county and what the names of the people uh, who were lynched were and also what their stories were. And I think that there is power in the story and I think that any time we have an opportunity to come together and be cohesive in, in, in our relationships in terms of our history and what has happened to us, that it helps us move forward. And I think that one of the things I just, uh, I'm so proud of the uh, Equal Justice Institute being here in Alabama, the home of, of, of the civil rights movement, and being able to move the conversation forward in a way that we get to see how slavery, how lynchings, how segregation, and everything that has come from that has led us to this moment, and how we as a nation can continue to, to make better on that. And again, the memorial is slated to open later this month. Now, over the weekend on Alabama News Network, we'll air more of my interview with Oprah. And you'll also find out if she learned anything new while covering this story for 60 Minutes. Again, her piece on the memorial airs this Sunday on 60 Minutes on CBS 8.